to zip code and today we are looking at another type of code uh, we'll be looking at how to uh, export um, data from our angular application into an excel uh, file so we'll be looking at um, having data in a table and exposing that um, data into an excel spreadsheet so without wasting any of your time let's get right into it so let's see how we can do that so first things first we want to um, create a new project so we are just gonna call this project um, let's just call it um, tutorial excel export so this should be fine tutorial excel exports that looks good so let's do that Mm, it will scaffold a new project for us then let's just use CSS that is fine and we can allow server side rendering which is fine um, let's see um, starting packages uh, this should take a few minutes and also in the meantime uh, just to share with you guys um, if you are new to the channel please do like and subscribe if you are coming back um certainly welcome you and we hope that you do like more of our videos more of our tutorials um so this is a channel that focuses on full stack development uh, there is front end development in angular and we have back end development in spring root uh, or spring framework and we have a lot of uh, projects already and tutorials in the channel so please do check those out if you are interested in spring boot development uh, microservices development and we do have uh, aws cloud um, services that we uh, do tutorials on as well uh, with spring boot so please do check those out and we do recommend that um, you also do um, share uh, with um, other developers and we would like uh, for you to also comment as this is a learning channel um so you can comment uh where uh, you want to comment that is still fine and we is allowed and we can grow together so um a couple of days or uh, maybe a day before i think i got a comment in one of my old videos and someone was saying that now the code that was written there is basically um, old or uh, some of the stuff is deprecated which is allowed if the video has been there for some time um, you know that technology moves uh, quite quick so that is allowed in the world of tech so when you say something is um, basically deprecated it would also be better to just say um, can we have an updated version of this code or this stack uh, because there has been some improvements in there um, and definitely uh, will make some time to um, update and uh, re, uh, rewrite those accordingly so that is uh, always expected in the um, development space that is what you uh, certainly do with a project even with uh, enterprise um, applications as you can see a lot of applications uh, in in the uh, let's say project management space uh, move to cloud so that is expected in the tech space uh, so one uh, one project may start as a desktop application move to web move to cloud and that is basically the enhancements that happen in technology so uh, if you see something that you'd want to be updated to the latest uh, and the greatest of tech uh, of stacks please do uh, comment and let us know that as well and we will assist where we can so that has been um, created our project is available so let's just go to tutorial right so now we are there let's also just open that in our uh, in our project right here so let's see uh, tutorial that's the guy so open that <coughs> So in this project, what we are going to do is essentially um, uh, get a uh, we will basically um, yeah, terminal, yeah, terminal. Um, we would essentially um, 
at angular material because we want to have a mat table and we want to have like a button that we would click to do the export for us so we want to do an ng add uh, at angular um, let's just do material right here so like that and this will just give us that package um, as we want and would you like to be installed yes i would like the uh, latest version to be installed so let's wait for that to finish and we can just open the project so long so we will run this uh, and you will see how how it looks like um in just a few once uh our packages have uh, installed so we have our angular material now and we will add uh, an npm uh, module as well so we can click on any theme here that we want that is fine doesn't really change anything uh, we don't really need uh, set up global angular material typography let's just say yes uh, uh, include animation let's just say yes that's fine <coughs> so it's scaffolding all of that uh, for us and now it's done that looks good so one thing that we want to npm install now is something called x l s x so this is the package and if you uh, want the link please do check um, them here and i've attached the link down in the description below so that will be available um right there uh and then let's just go to let's just make sure we have the right one so we'll scroll to the top and we are using npm so we'll go to the npm install just to make sure we have the right one so as you can see this is the right uh, package right here so let's just do just do that uh, uh, right, let's install that uh, install 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 uh, typo there right so that looks good should install in a bit so now we have all the packages that we need let's first build the project uh, and see how it looks like <coughs> so ng build not a heavy project so so it should be quick um, let's see Building node modules. Um, let's see what else is it doing. A config. Okay, that's fine. Just adding what we we need over there. All right. So the build is done. So let's do ng serve. And we want it to open once it's served. So let's just wait for it. Let's see. Let's see. All right, now it's opening up the project. It's Royal Excel export. All right, hello, it's Royal uh, Excel exports. Congratulations, your app is running. So now we have our application running. What we need now is basically a, uh, a match table because we're using Angular Material. So let's go there and we will just go to the API and we will want to import that into our component. So let's go back to application open the component and just add um, material right there and uh, the uh, med table module let's add it on our imports oh, crap. Uh, let's take this guy let's add it right here save this and let's see now we're going to need um, the table so this is what the table looks like so we'll use the um, hard-coded data it's nothing bad really because we do not want to um, do the whole API call and uh, get the data and then uh, push it to to push it to the uh, table uh, hard-coded data will still uh, be enough for what you want to do so that's not a problem um the one other thing that i need here uh, so in the ts i'll just take the data that i need uh, and nothing else so i'll just take the data and i'll come and put the data right here and the other thing is just the columns and the data source like that so let's add that 
right here save this all right so now if we go back to our application and we look at it now it has a table with the data which is the same data as hard coded in this example right here so now we want to export this data to um to uh, ah, i don't want to copy the link i need to go back to the table but it's suppose at the bottom here yeah, yeah so this is the table and it's the same table here so now because we want to export this let's just add a button there uh let's just see let's just do code uh so button for every component that you need you'd need that components module so we need to import that module and we will <coughs> add the module here and then we will paste that module right here to make sure that it's available and then what you want to do now is basically get uh uh just get like any of these buttons really uh let's get one yeah this this should be fine that's not a problem just take this button here and we just want to paste it over there uh this should be enough for what we want let's just say export and based on the button that you want you can be able to like get one with an icon and you can look at examples right here and get the one that you sort of want that's fine so for us this should be fine so export should be fine then the next thing that i want to do in export uh okay i'll maybe i'll do this later so now that we got all that uh sorted what we want to do is now get a uh, method to basically export our data so we need to do an import over here so we want to import everything so we're gonna say star as x l s x from uh, x l s x like that so we want to import everything as that and the next thing that we want to do is now create our export function which is nothing uh too hectic there's a couple of lines of code so let me just paste this here so now we have our export to excel which takes a table id as a string and a name of the file as a string so now uh, within the function itself we have a timestamp uh like that so once we have the timestamp we want to have a prefix of the uh, file name that we want to um, export so we'll have the name that is passed in here as export result and uh, we want to have the file name prefix with the timestamp uh, before we create it so then we basically want to have a target table element and that is document.get element by id then we pass in the id name right here which essentially will get us the table that we are targeting so if you go our table in the html this is where our table starts uh, this is where our table is so we want to add an id here uh, let's just add an id of our data table so let's take this id we save this so our table has that id and we're gonna basically pass the id right here the table id right here and uh, once we have that target element or target table that we want if it's not null we want to create a workbook uh, we use excel uh, excel as x utils dot table to book so we have a number of uh, functions here so we have table to book uh, book append sheet if you have multiple sheets you can add you can append uh, uh, a book to sheet or append uh, multiple sheets on the excel itself on the workbook and uh, we have json to sheet as well and you we have uh, sheet at json uh, sheet to uh, csv uh, sheet to html so uh, a lot of these um, are available for you to do so the other one that we are going to do on the um on a later video or a later stage is getting data from an api and uh, actually um, appending the uh, json to 
uh, the uh, JSON two sheet. So we'll be using this one where we call an API, get the data, and use the data from the API into an Excel spreadsheet. So when someone says export, instead of just exporting uh, the table, you export uh, data from a JSON because you might have an instance where you not necessarily want to export the table but you want to export data uh, relating to that table uh, so you can still be able to do uh, that as well so uh, once we have the function that we want to perform on our excel so table to book so we're taking a table to book and we pass in the target element which is our table and we pass in the options uh, which is basically here we're just setting the sheet um, the sheet name so we'll uh, most probably have one sheet in this uh, we'll have one sheet in this uh, workbook so the sheet name will be basically whatever we have on the prefix and uh, once that is there then we say xlx.write file we pass in the workbook and we pass in the file name and then it's going to write that for us and um, you'll be able to uh, download that file and look at the contents of it so here i'm just going to create um, a let's say execute export and basically it just calls um, uh, excel to <coughs> export excel so i'm just gonna pass in the id which is data table and i'm gonna pass in a file name uh, let's say tutorial export something like that and i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna call execute uh, execute export uh, in our html right here so this button here will just have a on click listener here uh, so we'll just do call that and this should basically be enough for what we want to do so that's the beauty of having um, an angular application you have live reload so i can just go to my um application on the browser and i'm able to see my export button over here and the uh, data is available so immediately when i click export i expect uh, this to give me a file that i would uh, uh, view as an excel file so let's do that so now there's a download over here already so the download is tutorial export 2024 so if i do another one you will see there will be uh, tutorial export 2024 so it does add the time uh, on that so you see now i have two then now i have three and basically that's how that goes so we have the files downloaded so now let's just go to um let's say excel uh, open excel online for free yes like that so let's see uh, no. uh, i want to open the one that i downloaded now uh, let's see uh, downloads uh, tutorial excel and let's open that so you see hydrogen, uh, edge, uh, helium, HE, lithium, LI. So this is the same data that is here, hydrogen, helium, lithium, and all of those. So it's the same data that you have over there. And you can be able to export this data table as is. You don't need um, a lot of heavy lifting to, to do that um, particularly. And basically, this is it. And I hope that uh, you guys do like and subscribe. Um, for now, this is basically what we have. And for later stages, we will do more um, API backend integration and see how we can utilize the response from an API and export that into um, an Excel uh, as well. So um, please do. Um, watch out for the next video and I hope um you guys stay tuned or for other tutorials that you need in the channel for now cheers